Hi, today we're going to be looking at how to add loot crates uh, to your Foundry VTT game. Uh, we're going to be using the Loot Sheet NPC 5E module, <clears throat> and this is running Foundry Virtual Tabletop version 0.7.9. Uh, on here on the screen you see here on the left this is my game master screen running uh, in Google Chrome and on the right we have a uh, Perl a character in this game uh, on a different web browser so we can see uh, how they kind of interact at the same time um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the loot actor and so I made a folder in my actors uh, pane here we're going to create an actor and I'm just going to call this uh, loot crate. Uh, this is in the hideout, so I'm going to put a hideout so it's just easy for me to see. The type is going to be uh, a non-player character, and the folder is going to be the loot folder. I'm going to create that new actor. Cool. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change the sheet type. When I click here, this sheet is now going to be a loot sheet 5e NPC. And I'm going to save the sheet configuration. And now we have this loot crate hideout kind of, uh, <clears throat> this loot crate sheet from that module that I was talking about. And so here is where we can add the kind of loot. I'm gonna say there's 100 gold in here. Uh, and if I want some items, we'll go to the compendium. Uh, where are you? Uh, items. Yeah, so I've been searching for short swords earlier. I'm just gonna put in just a couple of short swords. Uh, for example, regular short sword, giant slayer short sword. Uh, you know, just throw in whatever. I'm gonna close that. And we see here that uh, these weapons are in here. Ooh, luck, I don't know what that is, but that is an expensive item. Uh, we can see that we have three items. The weight six. This is the value of it, <clears throat> of everything in here all together. The next thing we have to do is we have to kind of we have to give permissions. Now permissions are what players are going to have access to this crate. So I'm just going to give permissions to the players that are playing tonight in this party. So that's going to be Bluey. And we want to make the permissions are the eyeball, observer. Uh, let's see who else is here. Uh, Kava is here. Nario is here. Pearl is here. And toy bars. Oops, nope. Toy bars here. Fantastic. <clears throat> so, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, make this a little prettier. Uh, what I have my assets, I have some icons here. I'm going to make this chest for the avatar. Let's get rid of the ghost person default. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing for the token. We're going to make it that. I'm going to select the file, get rid of the default stuff we have okay we see the icons been replaced here and when we go back to our loot folder in the actors we say loot crate hideout uh, again I put hideout here because I want to say you know it's gonna be easier for me to pick out uh, in the list when I have more loot things in the future and what I do is I'm gonna take this I'm gonna put it right there and now uh, this is a secret door I'm going to open that secret door and Pearl's gonna go get stuff so Pearl's gonna move up here Uh, yeah, this is the challenge with having uh, hexes. We just switched over to hexes, and there's some line of sight stuff. But here we go. We'll just move it out here. So Pearl <coughs> can now just do uh, a number of things. Um, let's make this a little bigger. Pearl can grab whatever one of these things like. Uh, let's say Pearl wants a short sword. Just click this item, this uh, diamond to loot it. Uh, otherwise, <clears throat> just click, click and just grab the things. And for the money, what Pearl can do is that she can click on loot coins here and that'll grab us all 100 coins. Or we have this button down here, split five ways. And the split five ways is just splitting the loot uh, across uh, all the people that we've given permission to. So we'll go over here. In the permissions, we have five people, one, two, three, four, five people here. This means that this loot is going to be split across uh, the five players. Um, I think that it is easy to click this and give everyone observer permissions, and this means that this is split 15 ways. Uh, there's 15 characters in this campaign. Not all of them show up you know, uh, every single time. So this is why we want to limit this. Uh, 
this kind of thing here. So we just take away the, I guess it's not here. Uh, pearls here, prize is not. We go through. And I missed one. Yep. So we can split the loot, or Pearl can just yoink all the money and yoink all the items. Now this is empty, and the other character uh, that sees this uh, will see an empty crate as well. And that's how you can create uh, an interactive loot crate for your D&D game on Foundry.